Here's the meat. Very nice, white man. What else? Herbs and some wood. It's not a big problem for ya. What next? A bargain is a bargain, white man. Yeah, right. Get that protective potion. It'll come in handy. Is that enough? Yes. Here's the relic. If anyone asks, you say you found it. Sure. found the other stone. Great job. One down, one to go. Ugo will not give in without a good reason. I know who to talk to. Where is Ugo? Ugo? Oh, come on. I'm not going to eat him. Sure you are not. There is more poison than blood in his veins. Ugo has been living in the mountains since he became a shaman. It was long ago. He comes down for herbs or to perform rituals. Will he come to the village if someone asks him? Does not matter if you ask him. He never comes. He only comes if yellow smoke rises above the sea. What smoke? Yellow. When white people like you came here last time, yellow smoke appeared above the heart of the island. Since then, yellow smoke means something bad is coming. No one can handle it except for the shaman and the spirits. Hmm. White man, whatever your plan is, you need to know that Ugo lives in harmony with the sages. They say they live under the same roof. Sages are snakes, aren't they? Yes. If you want to fall foul of Ugo, kill the snakes. It's not my plan. Yellow smoke, yellow smoke. 
Eureka! There must be a smoke bomb somewhere in this stuff from the lifeboat. I'd better ask Mike about it. Happy you've recovered, Mike. I'm happy too, Tom. Thank you both. You know we wouldn't leave you. Look, Mike, a tribeswoman made a potion for you. She said you were poisoned by the berries. Is that true? No. I didn't eat any berries. Or maybe I'm not remembering right. Sorry, Tom. It's very difficult for me to speak and think. Last question, Mike. Have you seen something like a smoke bomb in the things left after the shipwreck? I have one. Take it. I knew it would come in handy. Thank you. That'll do it. Now rest up, Mike. I need an assistant. I hope John can handle it. Listen, it's so quiet. I wouldn't say so. Wind, as usual. Nope. It's silent. What? The island. It's silent. That's what it is. Nick, look. Do you want to help Amy? She has a lot of work to do on the vegetable beds. No way! I'm not going to play around in the mud when he is watching me. Wait a minute. What do you think? I'm crazy. I, uh... Not bloody likely. I'm sane. I'm the only one who is sane here. If you say so, let it be. I must go. I have a pile of things to do. He's lost his mind. I need your help. I know how we can get the last of the stones of Invoke. I found something very important in the cave. Great. You'll tell me everything after we deal with the shaman. What are you saying? Let's go. I'll explain as we go. Okay. John, we enter enemy territory quietly. Um... Okay. I'll go there alone. Do you remember what to do? Yes. While you take the stone out of the shaman's cave, I stay here. If anyone comes, I explain that smoke isn't harmful and we're calling down our god's blessing this way. Right. If the shaman comes, you need to hold him back as long as you can. I think you have lots to check about. I hope this won't lead to any trouble. Come on. Nobody will hurt you. No one will get hurt. Here. Take my bow, just in case. It will only distract me. Thank you. I feel safer with the bow. I hope you will get the last stone of Invoke, Tom.